Hello and welcome to the World 101X Discussion Forum. Um, we're here to help, listen and learn, so please keep the discussion civil, engaged and respectful. Now I'd like to introduce you to two moderators who will facilitate discussions and moderate the forum. First up is Amelia Rutke. Um, Amelia, what's the discussion forum name that people can find you? Uh, so my discussion forum name is Amelia Niney. Amelia Ninety, fantastic. Now, Amelia, you're a PhD student here in anthropology yeah. and law. Um, tell us how you got into anthropology in the first place. Yeah, so I discovered anthropology when I was about 19 years old, when I was living over in England working in a boarding school. My sister for my birthday bought me Margaret Mead's Coming of Age in Samoa, and I read it and I thought it was really interesting that this woman was going and doing ethnography. Um, so I decided to do some courses and haven't really stopped doing anthropology since. And you're still doing it now. So you're doing a PhD here. Um, tell us a bit more about your PhD project. What kind of research are you doing it and, and where are you doing it? Yeah, so my PhD is in Queensland, Australia. I'm working with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here in, um, in the courts, in the court system. And I work particularly in Indigenous Sentencing Courts, which is a specialist court only for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people um, in the Magistrates Court. So my PhD is looking at how they negotiate the legal system using ethnographic methods such as attending court proceedings and bail programs for women. And why did you choose anthropology or what do you think anthropology brings to that kind of research in a, you know, a court in, in, in a country like Australia? Yes, yeah, so anthropology is really interesting because it allows people to explain and it allows you to understand people's social world uh, from their lived experiences. So it highlights the nuances of their reality. Um, and it, it's about demystifying things. It's about demystifying the courts um, in their own terms, which is what I really liked. Fantastic. And we'll talk more about your research and other PhD students' research in the course of the nine weeks. Um, but for now, we'll hand over to Fern Thompson, who isn't here, who's currently in Canada, and she'll be for, uh, in the discussion forum in a different time zone. So over to Fern. Hi, I'm Fern Thompson. Uh, although you'll probably see me around the World 101X discussion board under the name Fern T-Rex. Uh, I'm from Brisbane in Australia, but I'm currently based in Montreal in Canada where I'm working towards my PhD in cultural anthropology, uh, which is also why I don't have the pleasure of being interviewed by Gerhard on this occasion. Um, so, how did I get into anthropology? Well, it wasn't exactly a straight path. I was studying a couple of different things at the University of Queensland before I stumbled across a course in anthropology. Uh, but the thing that really grabbed me about it was it seemed to be a study that was all about listening to people and the stories of how they live their everyday, their struggles and their successes, the ways in which they find creative ways through different hardships. Uh, and I really liked that emphasis on, on listening, on really long and sustained and committed forms of listening, which is what I believe the ethnographic method is all about. Um, and so right at the moment I'm working towards my PhD, looking at a particular form of environmental activism in response to climate change that advocates for the abandonment of particular forms of technology. Uh, so you can think of people living off the grid, uh, people that are forming different political formations by a way of responding to climate change. The thing that I really like about using anthropology to look at this particular issue is that I think that there's a fair bit of scientific discourse and political mainstream political discourse around what climate change is, uh, what's causing it, uh, how best to address it through mainstream political channels. But I think that uh, people, quote unquote ordinary people, all of whom have been actually extraordinary in my experience, are making really interesting decisions and changes around how they're responding to climate change in their everyday lives. And these aren't always necessarily represented in mainstream discourse. So what I'm trying to do is use anthropology's ethnographic focus on, on listening to people's stories of the everyday in order to bring these stories of how people are being creative 
uh, in dealing with climate change to the to the fore of of public discussions around what climate change is about and how we can best uh, work towards a, a better world and a more sustainable world. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the discussion board for World 101X. I'm excited that the course is running again. I think it's a wonderful introduction to anthropology and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bye!